Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another bracelet that I created and it's called the Sandwich Bracelet. And it's pretty much the same as my spiral, yet we're going to be doing something else. So the things you'll be needing will be one line of the loom, two C-clips if something happens to the other one, um, a hook and a bunch of colors. If you're going to be following the colors like I am, I'm going to be using pink, purple, yellow, and blue for the um, for two of the lines, and then green is going to be the extension and the other two lines. So let's get started. So, you're going to not want the arrow to face you, and you're going to take your first color, and again, from the first to the second pen, and then your next color from the second to the third, and then again, third to the This is what it should look like when you're all done. And you want to make sure that each, every um, peg should have a rubber band overlapping another rubber band except for the first pin and the last pin. So if you're following the colors I'm doing, the pattern I went in was pink, purple, yellow, blue. And if, and if you did that, if you did the same pattern as me, you're going to be starting in pink and ending in blue. So now you're just going to press it down. So you're just going to take your finger or your hook and press them down to the bottom of the pins. Now you're going to add your next color. And I'm going to be using green for that. And again, with the arrow not facing you, from the first to the second, second to the third, third to the fourth, and so on. This is what it should look like. Then again, push all the bands down. Now let's loop. Turn around your loom so the arrows are now facing you. So you're going to take your hook and skipping this peg, you're going to push back the top color and grab the bottom color. Undo that from the peg and then put it on the peg in front of it. So I'll show you three more times. So you're going to push back the top color Grab the bottom color, take it off of the peg, and put it on the peg in front of it. So push back the color in front, grab the bottom color, take that off the peg, and put it on the peg in front of it. And I'll show you one more time. So you push back, grab it, take it off, and put it on the one in front of it. Do that all the way down. And now, this is what it should look like, little raindrops. And make sure that this one was skip. So now, skipping the first one again with the arrows facing you, pick up the band there and put it in the one in front of it. You may want to push it down if they're too high. And I'm going to push them down because it's going a little high. Then the one that you looped the color onto is going to have a band. Untick it and put it on the one in front of it. So go in, grab that band, take it off the peg, and put it on the peg. Show you one more time. Put your um, hook in. You'll find a loom. Take it off and put it on the one in front of it. Your C cut. Turn around your loom so the last raindrop is on and put the C-clip on all those bands. You are supposed to be putting them on four bands. Okay, so my C-clip is on. Turn it around again so you're on this part and pull it off. So you just take it off and again push up as you take it off. Sometimes as you like push it up, more comes off at once. So. And there you go. You have your little sandwich bracelet. So now let's make the extension. And also, just like stretch it at the end. So I'm just going to do that quickly. Just stretch it and play with it. Okay, so now let's make the extension. And um, the green is going to be my extension color. So again, 
take your hook and put it through the ending. And you're not going to put it through on the end where the C-clip is. You're going to be put it on where you see these two big circles. Make sure you have two big circles. Put it through. So this one's broken. Um, you're going to take your color, hook it on the hook, lift this up, and then just pull it through. Then take the other side of the band and put that on the um, hook. And I'll show you a few more times. So I'm going to be doing all five with you. So you're going to put it on the hook. Flip this up. Pull it through. And then the other side of the rubber band is going to go on. So I'll show you again. See how I hook it? Oh, see how I hook it on the hook? And I take my two fingers and lift it up. Pull it through. And put it on. Now, just one thing, um, you're going, you, um, you, why you put it up like this is so as you're going through, you're not hooking other bands. So I only have to do two more and I'll do them with you. So you're going to hook it, flip it up, and put it on the other side on this. So every time you should be having two on the and you're just going to pull, put it on the hook, flip it up, pull it through. Other side of the band goes back on the hook. So once you have the size that you want, I will actually do one more so it's not too tight. Hook it, flip it, put it on. Other side goes back on the hook. You should probably know by now. So now you're going to hold the two bottom, pull it off, take the C clip. That's there and then just hook that on and there you go you have a sandwich bracelet so this is what it should look like at the end and I like the extension because you can always add on to it so thank you for watching I'll be having more videos on my channel soon bye